Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Twitter in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about how to find somebody on Twitter. Now, the methods I'm going to show you, they're not foolproof, but hopefully they'll help you find uh, interesting people, people you know, uh, accounts that you find interesting, or even businesses. And it's uh, relatively simple to do, so let's get right to it. So here I am on twitter.com. This is the uh, In 30 Minutes account for Twitter, at In 30 Minutes. And I'm going to be looking for someone named Emily Gibson. The way to get started, go to the search window in the, in the top right corner and start typing. And what you'll see is Twitter autofills uh, with searches for certain people's names and also shows some accounts. Now, the issue with Emily Gibson, and you can kind of see it here, is there's a lot of Emily Gibsons. Actually, there's uh, scores of them. And uh, if you don't see the one you're looking for here, you may think, well, maybe she's not on Twitter. But actually what you need to do is you need to complete the search by pressing the magnifying glass next to the search window. And Twitter will generate the results uh, for Emily Gibson. What it will show first is all searches, photographs, and things related to Emily Gibson. So you can see this particular tweet, uh, Rebecca Black is mentioning Emily Gibson. If you scroll down further, um, there's a photographer named Emily Gibson, but what we're interested in doing is actually finding the people named Emily Gibson. And you'll see there's a couple different selections here. Go to accounts. This will show people with Twitter accounts as well as businesses that might have Emily Gibson in the name. And as you can see, uh, by looking at all the accounts of Emily Gibson, there's quite a few. So there's 9, 12, 15. It just keeps on going. So there's lots and lots of people named Emily Gibson. And what you would do is look at these profiles until you found the person that you wanted. Now, let's say that you have another situation where you're looking for a special account of Grumpy Cat. You don't know the cat's real name, but you know the face. You've seen it on TV before. And you're thinking, well, okay, so uh, Grumpy Cat, maybe it's this Twitter account, twitter.com slash Grumpy Cat. So you hit return, and you're brought to this account. Now, I'm, I'm sure Robin is a grumpy cat, but this is not the one that we're looking for. Um, the, the real grumpy cat or the famous grumpy cat, has it's a different type of face. And also you can tell this account only has 1,000 followers, which, which isn't, um, isn't the right one. The real grumpy cat has hundreds of thousands. So again, what we can do is go to uh, the Twitter search window and search for grumpy cat. And you can see um, a whole bunch of different results come up. Some are real accounts, some are fake accounts. Again, what you would do, you could either just take the top result and see if it's the right one. This is real Grumpy Cat. And let's see what comes up. Okay, the official Twitter for Grumpy Cat. This looks like the real one because there's 287,000 followers, which is about right. And you can, this is the correct face. Um, yeah, this, this is a cat who's a star. Now, there's another way that you can look for, for Twitter accounts, and that's just by using Google. Uh, Google indexes Twitter accounts and feeds, and sometimes the results are a little bit different than uh, what we've seen before. So let's search for Grumpy Cat Twitter. And the way I usually do it is just type the name of the person or the account and then the word Twitter and see what comes up. Okay. Here are the different results. Yes, the top one is Real Grumpy Cat. So anyways, those are the different ways that you can search for results on Twitter. For more tips on how to use Twitter, including hashtags, setting up an account, uh, writing effective tweets, finding followers, go to in30minutes.com and click on the Twitter book. Uh, the book is highly rated in Amazon. There's a bunch of different formats, including paperback, Kindle, iPad, PDF, your choice. Thanks for listening and hope to see you soon.